the matrix I perceive as real. The matrix I perceive as real. It is real and it is real. It's real. Hey creators, welcome back to my channel. If you're new watching, welcome as well. And in this video, I'll be talking about the full moon in Cancer. So when moon is in Cancer, it's super strong because it's in own sign. So it is a huge, big deal. This full moon happens on the 29th of December. And in Pacific time, it's going to be at 7.27 p.m. Every full moon is a turning point of some sort and you can manifest a lot with this full moon energy. You can write down your wish list and on full moon it's best to focus on certain behavior or events that you want to let go because it is the culminating point. After full moon the moon starts waning and going back to new moon or no moon. So this is a really good time to wrap up certain things that you have started before, particularly about six months ago. It can be a good idea to keep track of what is happening every new or full moon, which is happening every other week. So that is a side information that you can use new moon or full moon for your benefits documentation. So with this full moon, Mercury and Moon are opposing each other. Mercury is in Capricorn, Moon is in Cancer, and they are really good friends to each other according to Vedic astrology. So with this placement, keep in mind that you may be overly attached to certain things or information, your friends or relationships. So keep in mind that you don't have to be emotionally swayed by details. So don't let the details dictate your emotion so take charge of your emotion and during this period of time uh we as a collective are becoming more empathetic we can we can get each other uh, through nonverbal communication as well this also shows that we need to make a decision between some kind of structure routines habits on a personal level and your emotional fulfillment and comfort zone. On a collective level, this could be about ch making a choice between structure, organization, you know, governmental objectives, and the public opinions because the moon and cancer represents citizens in mundane astrology. So there can be a little bit of tension going on between these two parties. On a personal level, this could be about your own organizing factors. If you want to know more details, you can pull up your own chart and see in which house your Cancer and Capricorn are located. And by the way, I created an extensive list of words related to each zodiac signs and planets. So if you guys are interested in, check it out. There are more than 1400 words. And what is special about this full moon is Venus is right next to South Node. So this indicates that we need to let go of certain physical pleasure, what we love. And this is for higher good. Venus represents a lot of things. And for some of you, this could be just sweet candies, sugar, chocolate. Especially if Mercury is in your sixth house where Sagittarius is in the sixth house. You may need to regulate um, sugar levels for your health. And Moon has easy aspect with Uranus and Taurus. And this shows that we can be more motivated to do experiments in order to bring more stability in certain area of our life. So if you have any quirky ideas or sudden surprising events happening this can actually turn into your favor and the more you are uh, honest with your feelings and the more you stand up for your integrity you will feel much more fulfilled and have positive experience in general mars is still squaring saturn and jupiter but things can pick up the speed and make sure 
that you continue to take courage to take action in order to accomplish your visions. And Sun is in Capricorn, having trine aspect with Uranus. So whatever public responsibilities you have, whatever careers you have, allow your individualistic qualities to come out and, and integrity is being emphasized during this full moon. So you need to be real. There's no more space for fake. The more you're authentic and be real, the more you'll be able to accomplish and get recognized for whatever you're doing. And Moon in Cancer shows that it's a really good time to nurture and protect what you really cherish. This could be your family, could be your, your personal finance or your career, your health, could be anything depending on the shape of your birth chart. It's it's going to mean different things but nevertheless but nevertheless be like a maternal figure regardless of your gender overall we may feel more emotionally sensitive and intuition it's getting heightened yeah if you are into spirituality this is a really good time to develop your spiritual gifts so it's basically your ability to tap into the emotions you can also find a new way of expressing emotions in a healthier way, in a more authentic and genuine way. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing from this chart. Yeah, so that's about it. And uh, Let me know what is happening in your life. I'm curious. I hope this is helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!